Not every day do Buddhists come to the temple in the early morning. However, today is Poye Day. The Sinhala term Poye is derived from the Pali and Sanskrit Uposatha, primarily signifying fast day. There are 12 Poye days in a year associated with 12 significant events in Buddhist history. Every Poye day is marked by full moon occasion according to the lunar calendar. As the Buddha is by in Dhammapada, Though one should live a hundred years foolish and uncontrolled, it is better to live a single day with moral conduct and a meditative mind. Therefore, every poor day is declared the national holiday, giving Buddhists a chance to practice dana, generosity, sila, observance, and bhavana, meditation. Before any religious activity, Buddhists always show their respect to the Buddha by offering items such as flowers, water, food, etc. The drum and bell are indispensable in every important ceremony. They are the tool for vibrating delightfulness and holiness. The following section is usually taking the observance of the five precepts along with a short chanting for protection and the transfer of merit to both deities and their deceased relatives. As mentioned in the beginning, there are 12 boy days in the year. And what is the day boy day? The Nawan boy day is important to us because it is the day we commemorate the appointment of the Arhat Muggallan and Arhat Sariputta. And it's an important day for Buddhists as these were the two chief disciples of the Buddha. So we all come here and we try to memorize that special day of, uh, which happened today, in a, like, like today. So many people around Buddhists, many people will come to temples and will do many Buddhist activities such as many people in the morning times will have seal programs. And this is why Navampoye Day will be so much important for a Buddhist. As he said, this Poye Day in February, known as Navampoye, is one of the 12 Poye Days observed throughout the year. It commemorates the Buddha's appointment of his two chief disciples, Sariputta and Moganlana. Not only does Poye Day commemorate significant events, but it also provides an opportunity for lay people to purify their minds and accumulate merit. They work tirelessly day after day to care for their families and contribute to society's well-being. Therefore, Poide offers a chance to take a break from work and tend to their spiritual life. Sri Lankan Buddhists are not solely concerned with material possessions. They also prioritize spiritual liberation. If one decides to observe the eight precepts, they would wake up early, bathe, and dress in clean white garments before going to the nearest temple. Throughout the day, they would follow a set timetable that includes sermons, puja, periods of meditation, and dhamma discussions. In meditation centers, there may be more periods of meditation and fewer sermons in puja. The incumbent monk administers the eight precepts to the entire group assembled for this purpose. The basic Buddhist observance is the five precepts which involves restraining from five actions, taking lives, taking what is not given, engaging in improper sexual conduct, engaging in unwholesome speech, and consuming intoxicants. 
The eight precepts include the five precepts, with the third one modified into abstinence from sexual conduct, as well as three additional rules. To abstain from solid food that they meet day. To abstain from dancing, singing, music, and improper shows, and from ornamenting the body with garlands, scents, etc. To abstain from the use of high and luxurious beds and seats. On this day, there will be one or several voluntary donors offer food for the whole temple. There are two sections of offering food, breakfast and lunch. Today Mr. Balita and Mrs. Sintika's family is offering breakfast. As a procedure, all devotees will make offerings to the Buddha, known as Budu Buja, in the local Sinhala language. After Buddha Buja, it is customary to request for the observance of the five precepts. This practice enhances their donation along with a short chanting of the Buddha's words for protection and transference of merit. Those Buddhists who are observing the eight precepts today are considered as noble person. Therefore, this offering is much more beneficial to the donors. Eating on Boy Day is different from normal day. Today is a chance to slow down our desires, contemplate and express gratitude to what we have. Moreover, we should eat mindfully to let go of the greedy mind while eating. It is customary in Sri Lanka to share a little of our food to the surrounding animals. In Itiwutaka 92, the Buddha says, Those who see the teaching, they see me. Otherwise, they are far away from me and die from them. Therefore, the proper way to honor the Buddha is to put his teachings into practice. So, in Poyede, Besides observing the eight precepts, there will be Dhamma talks, Dhamma discussion, along with guided meditation to purify the mind. In every Boya day, the head monk, so called Loku Hamduru, will invite several venerable monks from other temples to give Dhamma talks and guided meditation to the community. Lankavasi Lokuasi Sadehati Bautriyan Mithi Adhimika Sakchari Travala Hetu Hinda Anagata Palaya Then Uba Neji Besides providing food, every activity on Poi Day is sponsored by the community. They will cover all the expenses for inviting venerable monks as well as offering some prerequisites to those reverends. The next section is meditation.
Islam time. The procedure of Buddha Buddha is the same. The term sadhu is very important in Buddhism. It means excellent or well done. And the donor for today's lunch is Mr. Lahiru and his friend's family. Special day for us, actually. Uh, 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 we are doing the, all the busy work in whole uh, whole day, the rest of other uh, days in the uh, month. And uh, this day we used to uh, focus on the mental health, of, uh, the well-being of the mental health and uh, do spiritual activities all the day from throughout the day, uh, starting from the early morning. Yeah, that's uh, uh, not only for, for Buddhists, uh, most of Buddhists are going to temples and for their uh, spiritual activities. And all the other people in the country also, also get in a holiday for this boy day every month. Yeah, uh, this is a continuous activity what we are used to do in every uh, annually, annually basis. In every uh, uh, February we are doing, on the, on the boy day we are giving uh, lunch, uh, we are providing lunch for the Upasaka people who are observed still in uh, this temple, our temple. And uh, we uh, get together our family members, not only our family members, our all relations and our family friends and all, all they are get together and uh, we come to uh, this place and we uh, do, th do this uh, spiritual activity and uh, you see oh, all our kids also uh, all our family members including our small kids also uh, participate in this event so we are giving the, uh, them the, our uh, cultural good things to their, their well-being and their mental health and uh, especially we have a uh, few uh, more things that motives to do uh, this uh, kind of activity uh, we uh, we used to uh, uh, remind our elderly people who lived and uh, lived in the past our relations and our generation people and we uh, we remind them and uh, we do charity for them that is what we can do for them uh, this time that that one yeah thank you very much for giving this opportunity thanks a lot in the afternoon the program continues with meditation and Dhamma reaching At 4.30 p.m., the program will conclude by making aspirations for the present life as well as for spiritual liberation. Furthermore, there will be a transfer of today's merits to the deceived relatives and the deities who are expected to protect the Buddha's teachings and the community of practitioners. May the Triple Gem bless you. Today I talked to those devotees. How should we identify those people who associate in our day-to-day -day life? Once Lord Buddha preached this doctrine to the Kosala Maharaja. At that time, Lord Buddha preached to him, we should not identify people by the skin color and the behavior. And we have to identify those people by seal and wisdom like this. We have to associate people. Without associating, we cannot identify a man, uh, what they are doing. We can identify the heart of a man by the words. 
<laughs> the words that he is talking about pure or bad words and also last point is how we can identify one's wisdom lord buddha says that throughout the discussion we can identify a man how he has good wisdom or uh, poor knowledge like this way when we are associating a man we have to uh, identify those situations vivaha velawata passe avurdu den hattalis gana panas gana vitare weno Their general idea in her sharing is she has joined Poi Day at this temple for more than 40 years after marriage. She prefers Dhamma talks and meditation. Both are very good for her. When she and her husband practice observing the eight precepts, their children would learn from them. There were many helpful activities in Poi Day. Therefore, during eight hours of the program, she did not feel tired. The head monk organized everything very well. After going home, she always feels peaceful and relaxed. She often encouraged her children to embrace the practice as well. Their general idea in his sharing is he has associated with this temple since he was 12 years old. Now he is 67 years old. Every activities in this temple have connected with his life since he was single. He has usually done many religious works in his student time. After 60 years old, he began to join Boy Day program, observing the eight precepts and practiced meditation with his wife at his temple. On Boy Day, he and his wife often wake up at 4 a.m. to repair, then arrived at a temple at 5 a.m. The head monk organized everything very well. He invited several reverends to give them a talk and guided meditation. There were 100 people joined this program. They were very happy. He tend to teach his children what he has learned from both a program. The Poi Day will not be complete without Bodhi Buja. The ritual of paying homage to the Bodhi tree, which is the commemorative object of the enlightenment of Prince Siddhartha, who later became known as the Buddha. Today's ceremony is sponsored by Mr. Niroshan and Mrs. Tamara's family. And why do they do that? Um. The, as the Buddha teaches to Nirvana, uh, there is always this pin and pow, merits and sins. So to uh, to uh, gather merits to our life, we come here and we try to our best to get gather merits and to try and remove all the sins we have collected all these days by mistake or sometimes by purpose. So this may have motivated us to come on this special day. and try to uh, get the merits and try to maybe attain nirvana all buddhists in the area are welcome to join in the worship the ceremony involves offering various items such as flowers oil lamps incense and water to both the bodhi tree and the buddha's hall following by a session of chanting selective suttas called pirit the buddha's words
At the conclusion of the ceremony, it is common for individuals to make aspiration for the well-being of their families' spiritual liberation. More importantly, the transfer of merit to their deceased relatives as well as deities, the protectors. Poi Day is not only a national holiday, but also considered the golden day of Buddhist community in Sri Lanka. It is the day for showing reverence towards the Buddha and the important events in Buddhist history by practicing the three crowds of merit-making, which are dana, generosity, sila, restraining from unwholesome deeds, and bhavana, cultivating wholesome mind. These religious activities became part of Sri Lankan Buddhist life and have been practiced for more than 2,000 years for.